Welcome back to my channel for another review of an old uh, vintage lens. Actually a lens that I have found very little information on. It's uh, this uh, monster. It's a 200mm f3.5 and it's named Ifbagon. I've never heard that name before and when I searched it on, on the internet uh, I did only find a very few uh, links uh, to information about Ifbagon and they made a few lenses it may be rebranded from, from something else, but I haven't found any information on that as well. The reason why I have used it uh, on the Hasselblad cameras, now it's on my X1D Mark II, but I will also shoot it on the X2D. Um, the reason that I, I would try to, to use it was that I found it on, on a, in a thrift shop and I got it for, I think it was 5 euros or something like that, so it's a no cost uh, lens. And when I put it onto the adapter, it's an M42 mount, so it's uh, onto my uh, Canon FD uh, to Hasselblad and then the uh, M42 to Canon FD on top of that. Uh, so when I put it on this camera, it didn't make any vignette at all. And that was uh, quite astonishing because I've had uh, many lenses from um, Minolta, uh, Nikon, 200mm uh, uh, lenses that I've tried that did uh, that was much more expensive than this one and that uh, did a lot of vignetting uh, so i was amazed from the start that this could uh, perform so well but uh, let's see how it performs uh, in other regards
what else positive can I say about this lens except for the vignetting? Well, it has actually a very pleasing bouquet. It's very, very nice and of course it has this very low price tag. But otherwise than that, it's mostly negative. It's very soft wide open and it, uh, it's only sort of sharp from f5.6 or even f8. But uh, the edges and the corners are really unsharp and chromatic aberration is very visible and very annoying. So uh, the lens doesn't uh, deliver what I thought it would originally. I hope you liked the review of the Ifbagon 200mm f3.5, a lens that uh, I was very amazed at when I first put it on the camera, but uh, after shooting it for a while I, I don't find it very interesting anymore, but at least now you've seen the review of it and I hope you liked the review and please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel so you can get more reviews from my side. So thank you for now and bye.